We are going to, for the sake of this installation, select meter as our, um, inf uh, our method of getting the grid information, the grid currents. So it's going to be communicating to the inverter over an RS-405 cable and it would be connected into this port here like we've done here. If you wanted the, if your grid connection was five meters away, like this one is, but we just do, we've chosen the meter one, um, you can use the, the CT uh, terminal block here, um, but I've already spoken about that. So this is all complete. We've done the battery, we've done the solar. The last thing to do is the AC power connections here. So the first terminal block is the field generator input. We are not going to do an instruction video. This video is not going to be about the field generator. We're just going to talk about the backup connections and the grid connections. So before we um, plug it into the inverter, we would want to measure um, the, the voltages on this, this cable. So at the moment it's safe because my, my isolator next close to my inverter is off but essentially I'm gonna measure the voltages between live and neutral and live and PE. And they should be in the region of 220 volts to 240 volts. So I'm just gonna turn that on. Boom, it is on. I'm gonna turn my multimeter back on uh, into voltage AC. It's measuring AC voltage. Just going to, cause it's, it's quite a high voltage, I'm gonna set the range to, to be quite high using my trusty brackets to hold my multimeter again. I'm going to put a probe onto live and a probe onto neutral and I'm getting 238. Fabulous. Then I'm going to leave the black probe on live and I'm put the red probe on earth and I'm getting 238. So I'm very happy that I'm getting voltages there. Uh, very important. Um, you need to isolate it before start working with it and putting it into the inverter. You don't want to touch that as it is now because it would be quite painful. So turn off this isolator. This, there's no capacitance in this cable so you don't have to wait for it to discharge. It is already safe um, the moment you've turned that off so that's pretty cool. Um, and on the, the terminal block for your grid connection is on the right hand side, live, neutral and earth. So I'm just gonna stick it into this um, gland hole here on the right, the most right hand one and I'm going into that terminal block there. So I'm happy at that type of height. Uh, a little bit of play is, is, is sometimes good. So there we go, and that gets a little bit tightened. And then a flat driver will do the trick. So grabbing out my back pocket, I'm searching for a flat driver, and I'm going to stick live into L, um, blue into neutral, and then earth into PE. And I'm just going to grab onto, get onto this side of the inverter so you can see, and I'm just going to tighten it like this. It's very important that you put the ferrule or the, the cable on the closest side to, to you um, of, that, of the, the contact. So you want to tighten onto the, the boot lace and you, you want to make sure that it's, it's making good contact. You, it's extremely important, but you will be able to easily know when you've done it incorrectly. So if you had put the, um, the, the bootlaces on the bottom of the contact and you tightened it shut, um, these would just fall out immediately as you tighten it. So you, it's easy to work out when you've made a mistake or not. Um, going on to the backup connections, this is always safe because the inverter is, is, is not powered. So the inverter creates the voltage at this point, but there's no voltage being created at this time because the batteries are off and the solar is off. So everything is off and you can see that by the indica indicators on the inverter. Again, you're going to go live on the left hand side, neutral in the middle and earth on the right. And I'm just going to jump onto the side again and tighten it up. Uh, it's very important that these are tight, so um, any loose connections will cause pitting or uh, melting of the contacts and cause a lot of damage. It does cause an avalanching effect, so do make sure that your connections on the AC terminal blocks is also tight. Last one here, we've got our PE for the backup. What's very important about wiring, and I'll probably do another video on just wiring of backups, but um, there's no connections between the lives from the grid and the backup here. So if I turn this on, 
Without the inverter here, there won't be live here, and the neutrals aren't connected. PEs are connected, they can be connected in some cases. So if you're relying on the, the grid's earth, even for your backup system, there would be connections between those two. Um, and then if you've got your own earth spike, if it's a really good earth spike, you could also detect low resistances between those two. Um, but neutral and live, definitely no connections between the backup and the grid.